everybody and welcome back to my plastic channel this is going to be episode 19 which man will be a bit of um august wrap up and talking about september which because i'm trying to do the monthly updates within the first week or so schedules make it hard but we're trying so welcome again to my channel my name is michelle this is the chinook crafter and uh, my pronouns are she her and i am a canadian cross stitcher living in calgary alberta and uh do a lot of cross stitching most mostly spook mostly spooky stuff i'm trying to is my my favorite ones but i'm also into a bunch of eclectic stuff uh this is going to probably be a short episode because i did not really have a much of a stitching bug for august uh september is going to be also like my september wrap up is probably also small but my october one that's going to be the one to watch because you'll find out why mostly because I've spent too much money and it's all going to be showing up in October. <laughs> all right. So first things first, a rare, a rare appearance. I have a finish. Mm -hmm. This was the Forest Fox freebie from pre-ordering a Pigeon Coop's new book, which if you haven't already got it, highly recommend. It's fantastic. Haven't picked my first pattern out of it yet. I'm just saying it's here. It's great. Talked about it last episode get it but i finished this little guy finally um i'm pretty sure like i just stitched on a scrap piece that was like this and i'm pretty sure i'm finishing it in a hoop like this which is why it's in the hoop uh, but i also might make it as a round ornament i have to decide my previous pigeon coop finishes are in hoops or somewhat in hoops i didn't do a very good job because they were some of my first finishes and fully finishes i'm kind of thinking i might like to take them out and do something that's not a hoop finish but not fully there yet. So that was my finish. I have got two new starts. Two new starts, yep. I was just having to count. So this, this one, this one is very special to me because I am caught up on a stitch along. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is a fine frog stitchings, plants and petrochora stitch along. And as you can see, I am caught up. I am never caught up on stitch along. I call them, they're starter longs for me, but I was like, these ones are small and I would like to. And so far I am succeeding because this was the last drop and I finished it the day after. I would have finished it the day of with my kids. Yeah. And so I'm just very pleased with myself. Uh, the, it's an A, uh, Kisa Aida, I dyed myself and it is going so well. I'm just very pleased with myself. Uh, I've also been taking really fancy flat lay, oh. And I have to take a flat lay to post it to my Instagram. But everyone, I've been taking the nice flat lays and everyone's been like, oh my God, you're doing so good. And I'm like, <laughs> not my usual talent, but it is something I'm working on. And the other one I'm working on is the Study of Skulls, which also just started by the Stitch Crypt. Very rocking start there. Um, her, her drops are going to be significantly larger because I think the, so I'm not really planning on keeping up like once plants and petrochora finishes I'll try and catch up but I'm just kind of you know like a strand or two a strand a day basically when I have time for it this is a also a piece of 18 count I dyed myself and it's like a plant with a skull and uh, it's very intricate lots of beautiful color changes very subtle it's going to be beautiful um, just have not finished it yet and they are currently living in my golden familiars project case which I love Love it a lot. It's been very convenient for keeping them. I, I just like that it has the space to fit the cute stuff nicely. And also has dragons and flowers. So my favorite things. So that is my stitch alongs. I am working on my round robins. I am fairly caught up, which is a miracle. Uh, I am working on one I'm doing. I'm kind of calling it the Canadian cross stitch round robin because we're all Canadian because Ali Z bait and switched us because she was organizing it and she's like who wants to do it and then she's like you're all Canadian yeah so this is Melissa Shiba designs piece which is blue morpho um so you can see I've reached the edge and the edge on both sides and now I'm just filling it in it's a 20 count hard hanger I believe um piece of fabric it's really soft I really like it I don't I asked her she doesn't know the dyer because I, I was like I really like this I want more of it but she didn't know who was the dyer so that did not help me with that so i've taken out most of the papers and such from from the uh, kit because i didn't want to um damage it and rustle 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 and here is the beautiful floss conversion she chose for it 
So it's the two, two classic color works and a beautiful hand dye by Rolanda Silk, which is just very pettable. Very, very pettable. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I would not have... I really like these round robins I've mentioned before because of the color conversions. Because Tracy Horner of Ink Circles, she does a really good job of planning them out and picking her own colors. But then they're also very open to being adapted by other people. And so it's really fun to see the fabric and colors picked by other people because you know some people are just going with as what's called for some people are like mixing it up slightly and i've just been really enjoying stitching on my own and seeing what other people have created so that is my round robin i um actually I'm fairly caught up for round robins i have to i started um the manning may one which i have to work on i have to uh but i didn't work on it this month um so i've got three round robin robins in progress and i'm caught up on one because i'm waiting for the next piece to be sent to me um this one I have a month to send out, but I'm trying to send out sooner because Jo is caught up, so it would make sense to get that to her because she's waiting, you know. And then the last one I'll be finishing for Erin, and she's got my piece to finish. So we're, neither of us are in a rush to exchange that, so that one's, you know, lower. And then I've got the last one, which we started at Stitch North, which is the one I do probably need to get working on. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, my whip go, I did not do my start my whip go calls for August or September at this point. I've pulled fabric for them. I just was, wasn't was in the mental space to do them. Um, I like to use, they're, they're mostly like small paper patterns or like they're, they're smalls. So I kind of have toss them in a small project bag and take them to work and work on that work. I just haven't really had the chance to at work. So haven't done, it, it's aspirational. I did do a little bit of work on my one whip go. This is my January whip go, which was the carnivorous terrarium. This is a piece of 28 to count I dyed myself and I'm stitching it one over one. And it is very close to being done. I think I have like 400 stitches left in it. Um, I was a bit ambitious with the size of some of my, my smalls as it were. Um, also, if I, I think if I hadn't stitched this one over one, I would have been, already be done. But the one over one stitching is taking a little bit more energy than I anticipated. Um, so that's the only one I've really worked on. I have like more of my whip goes and such in this bag, but that's what I have. Um, this bag was made by my friend Natasha of Bridges Good Stitches. Uh, I asked her to make me a smaller project bag because like what she did was like, there's a bunch of fabric I want, but shipping to Canada is stupid. Even if, so I sh shipped the fabric to her. She made me the project bags and I paid her and she sent them to me, which was cheaper and more cost effective than me doing them myself because I take forever. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the first one. It's a, and like I picked up the fabric. I think this is a Louis and Irene one. But it's owls and it's spooky and it's cute. It does nothing to do with, I mean, you guys can kind of burst frame. There's a spider. Yeah. I like to try and match my project bags somewhat to my projects. Um, just sometimes it just doesn't work. The other stuff I was working on was for swaps because deadlines. <laughs> uh, another bag Natasha made me from Fabric Eye Center. Also very cute and spooky. Has nothing to do with the contents. I'm trying to finish this so I can use it for another one. Um, so this is the for the fancy floral swatch. Heather is my he, link is my homeboy. Heather has organized. I've got one piece fully finished. I'm, I'm stitching multiple pieces for this swap because they're small, and I want to make it like it's kind of like a set. So this is going to be a scissor fob when it's done. It gets folded up and sewn into a scissor fob, and it's just like a very fancy florals. This one I am literally almost done. Um, I have just the white accents and a little bit of the birds to finish up. This will be a pin cushion when it's done. I just didn't quite get to finish it before filming today. Uh, we had a home, in not home inspector. Um, as I mentioned in my last, we got rocked by the hailstorm. We are damaged. We have been just so many appointments. It's been eating up so much time. Um, so we are applying for a grant for more energy efficient windows and other energy efficient things because we have to replace our windows anyways, so we might as you know upgrade them, add to the home value, add cuts down energy costs. There's grants available from the government, so like it's a whole like sort of circle circular thing, but they have to do like an assessment because they want to see how energy efficient your house is before and after, and like to make sure that you do the work the grant is for. Yeah, um, so that was like a two a two hour thing this morning, and uh, we thought I thought I was gonna be able to stitch, but uh, ended up being that me. The two kids and the two cats and I were all exiled to the nursery because we didn't realize he was going to have to have all our windows and doors open to like 
I don't even know. I was stuck in a nursery. I didn't see what was going on. <laughs> and I thought I would still be able to stitch, you know, like, but no. Then only one of us was happy about being stuck in the nursery, and that was the kid that had the iPad. <laughs> yeah, not that we're normally iPad families. It's just, you know, circumstances. <laughs> so I thought I was going to have that finished, um, but I did not. And I still have to do um, a little scissor case, because like I said, it's going to be like a little set. Um, the deadline to have the stitching done was the first. However, I... I will, the shipping deadline has not passed. I have ordered the fabric for the backing. Uh, it will be fine. It will be fine. The the only one I am behind on for all my stitching things is my tarot swap. Um, this was supposed to be sent mm, a couple weeks ago. I can't remember. I, I don't feel so bad because I know other people are still showing theirs. Um, my problem was I ambitiously thought I was going to create my own design. And I spent a lot of time trying to do that when I should have been stitching an actual design. Like I had a backup plan of mine. I didn't want, but I spent so much time on Stitch Fiddle. I spent so much, like, I had a vision, right? Like, this is my vision. Trying to translate into pixels and it did not work. I got very frustrated. It kind of killed my motivation. And then ADHD is great with deadlines sometimes, but I, I'm feeling bad. Uh, I, I know I've had Michelle reach out to my person and be like, it's coming, I am so sorry. And luckily I do have some other things to send to this person at the same time. So it'll just be a happy little package when it does show up. So this is what I've got. It's the friend by Needle Lot Designs. You can see I've got most of the frog outlined and done. Um, I am, it's a very dense pattern. I think about, it has like almost 6,000 stitches in it. I'm not doing all 6,000 stitches. Like uh, I've got, I've recharted bits and pieces of it to make it more efficient and not like a massive piece. I just working on that. Uh, it's fun. It's fine. It's all good. So that was just all I stitched on because like I said, I did not have a really big stitchy month. I was just not feeling it at all. Uh, I did buy a few things. So let's share what I bought. The first one, this is in my gorgeous, beautiful bag from Jasmine's Custom Bags. It's with Jen. It is, as you can see, a very beautiful glittery Sailor Moon bag because she was doing uh, I figured, oh, and here's the lining because that was, this was important. Um, she was doing, I think like a fandom fabric August or July. I can't remember which month it was. July, maybe August. Yeah, anyways, and so she was showing off her fabrics and reels because like, you know, like a little sneak peek. And she's like, I think she had this one. She's like, I think this is Sailor Moon. I was like, it is Sailor Moon and I need that in my life right now. Um, huge Sailor Moon. I love Sailor Moon. Um, it's an important part of my childhood and it's still a bit bits a piece of my adulthood so she was like so she's like yeah sure like, you know what? i'll just like you know we'll just we'll just make the bag right and i think i drove her promptly nuts because this is not <laughs> no i'm sure she, she's very gracious about it but i was like are you sure like i'm very picky and this is very important to me <laughs> and despite being a sailor moon girl girly i'm not a pink not too much of a pink girly uh i mean it's fine because it's sailor moon that that's different <laughs> but <laughs> so so she's like, you know, I always say I don't have access. We, we're different parts of the country. I don't have access to her like fabric stash. So I was like, okay, like, cool. Like, do you have something like celestial? And she's sending me things. I was going, mm, 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 no, no. So luckily we did find like this nice little pink in interior that worked for it. Uh, and then, I mean, the pink glitter, it has to be pink glitter for Sailor Moon. But I was also like, oh, if you have a purple or blue glitter too, but pink, pink glitter. <laughs> I, like I said, I think I drove her crazy because I was like, I had a vision that was based on knowledge of the fandom that she did not have, which she got there. So like, she really did a hit hit it out of the park. Like, I'm very happy with this. I just think during the, cre the consultation process, there's a few times that she was like, really? It, it's not the right shade of pink? It's not the right shade of blue? I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> no. But it's great. And I... I've been meaning to do a little reel putting my Sailor Moon whip into it just because I like to do the things like that because I like to support my friends and designers with their works and so sometimes if you do like a nice little social media post it brings awareness to them from other people in the community you know because they're not like huge like they're independent designers and creators and so I like to showcase them and I'm going to really have to do this because somebody is in trouble and this person knows who they are and that person is Kaylee. Kaylee is in trouble. 
Yeah, Kaylee, you're in trouble. So, <laughs> um, what happened was, uh, my friends, Megan, Helen, and others, uh, Amy, I think they're doing a Moon Faces belt pull stitch along. And I think I kind of heard them talking about it, but I didn't realize there's full on plans. And they got Kaylee to design this beautiful fabric for it. It's called Aurora, which is a very mouth heavy word. So like, look at this beautiful drip dry. Um, I don't have the pattern yet. I have placed my order from Brenna Needle, the newest lo you know, local needle workshop in Canada. Um, that, that was probably be coming probably next week, I imagine. So it'll show up in my September recap. <laughs> So yeah, it's a beautiful, it's tiny modernist. It's like a moon phases bell pull and it's beautiful fabric for it. So I had to, you know, had to order that from Kaylee. So I'm making an order from Kaylee. When you're making an order from Kaylee, it, you can't have it travel alone. So I ordered, um, she does these like mystery um, project bags with uh, ornament packs. No, actually I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna talk about the fabric first. So I, I ordered two other pieces of fabric with it. Uh, this is a 20 count Lisa Frank in a fat quarter. I don't have any specific plans for this. I honestly think I might be just cutting it into smaller squares for smalls. I just like the pastel tie dyes of it. I like that for smalls. And then I ordered, oh gosh, I think this is a yard. I think it's a yard. Half yard. Half yard. Of uh, Nothing Rhymes with Orange. Which is this beautiful grungy orange fabric in 20 count. Because I was thinking ahead to Halloween, because I think this will be very good for many Halloween smalls. Um, so I was thinking ahead for once, you know. I was like, oh, perfect, you know, what to get. So there, yeah, you know, fabric sorted. And like I was starting to say, Kaylee does this thing where she has these like mystery project bags with um, some mystery ornament cuts of fabric in it. And I was like, yeah, I love these because they're just like the perfect size to experiment with and, you know, use for like projects. I use them for my like a lot of my quirky Quakers. I use them for a lot of my um, um, the whip go calls. Like they're, they're perfect, and I think that's one of the reasons I didn't not to blame her. I didn't start my um, August ones because I ordered this in middle August. So I think it would come like the last couple days of August, and I would you know maybe get a small start, right? So that was that, and like Kaylee even asked you know sent me some like she's like oh I'm about to put some new Halloween bags. But, like which ones do you have? Like you know like and I picked one I liked because I thought I was getting that one. And then I think, I think it was like a week later or something, a couple days later, I saw this really cool bag idea and I sent it to her because like, you know, I love to, I love, Kaylee's mind is amazing. She's so creative. She thinks about things, like she puts things together in ways I don't expect. I actually was just talking to her about like another different project just to bounce her off because the way she contextualizes and picks apart items and puts them together, it's amazing. Like she, that's why I want to, I love her as a fabric dyer because she does all these off the wall fabric ideas that you just, no, I don't think anyone else is thinking of. She's so unique and creative that way. So I sent her this idea because that was really cool. And then I was like waiting for my package and I was like, and like Canada Post hates Kaylee's packages to me usually. Like I, there was one that I think it took like, like three weeks to get to me and like it should not take that long within Canada. Um, so I was taking along, I was like, oh my God, like, and she's like, oh, like I haven't sent it yet. And I was like, girl, what, like, what the hell, you haven't sent it yet. Uh, she one of the demos that she was making with an experimenting with she sent to me so this is hard to see but okay i think you can hear it see all that it's glow in the dark so it's this beautiful halloween bag which is what i ordered and it has a glow in the dark front panel i can't really show it to you because you know lighting which so it's something i'm going to have to work on because what the hell and of course like i've already given her i think five other ideas of things to put in here like so it's so cool. I have a glow in the dark Halloween bag with a lovely tarot inspired zipper pull, the hermit. There we go. Yeah. So she's like, okay. Like I'm, I'm fine that she, she, like she delayed sending my package because you know, I gave her that inspiration idea of like that. That's not why she's in trouble. What she's in trouble for is the contents. So the ornament cuts, this is about three times the normal amount of ornament cuts three times because I, like I was saying to her like when I was ordering this is like hey by the way like I really love your ornament cuts I'm doing this stitchy swap and I want to maybe include some like small ornament cuts with it because I was thinking what to include um I have to send my package farther away than usual and so I was trying to think of like small items that were unique and different and would you know also kind of keep the postage cost down because 
you know, I'm sorry, it is what it is. <laughs> like, it, it's, I, I want, I was looking for small and lightweight, so I was thinking, oh, like, it'll be nice to throw in a few ornament cuts from my Canadian dyer, like, that, that, that'll be different, that's something this person will have never had before. And so I asked her, and she's like, oh, yeah, sure, like, you know, I, I will do that for you. And this, and so, of course, like, there was, like, my order, and then she sent me a ton extra, um, and like they're fantastic like i'm pretty sure this is from from one of her um aurora cuts because like that's a beautiful night sky a beautiful model blue like when i say that she does unique things i think this is something that she stamped on you know another beautiful blue this one like the honeycomb one which is fantastic because i have a bee pattern i was thinking about you know like just more beautiful modeled gorgeous like, and of course I know I, I have to send some of this to somebody and I'm like, I don't want to. Like, I mean, it's gonna be easy because I do know, do in my like list have this person's favorite colors and such and like preferred count. So that will eliminate some things, but like, look how fun. And like, there's just so much of it too. And it's like, <laughs> I have so much and I, I don't want to give it all away, but I'm, you know, I'm going to because that is the point. <laughs> why I asked for the ornament cuts and but it was also like you are not supposed to send me this much like at all but I highly recommend Kaylee's ornament cuts if you like to stitch smalls like in things like your quirky quakers or just like the random freebies because you know you get like this little mix pack usually not this big and there's just like really fun to experiment with and push you out of the boundaries because like seriously honeycomb like, I can think of a dozen mini smalls that would look good on, like, a little honeycomb backing. And just adds that touch of, ex you know, touch of excellence to it. So that was my purchasing and surprise, I guess, stitchy kindness. My plans. I have done something. I bought myself a notebook. I know, all my ADHD. I bought a pretty notebook. Uh, I was trying to make checklists. Checklists work for me in some ways that they don't always. Uh, deadlines don't work but checklists do so I've made like a list in here uh, like the first page is like my whip goes and so on the calls the second page is my round robins and it's nice because I've already crossed off like some of them you know just like done and like the swaps I'm in so far mm -hmm. and then this, my stitch alongs and like uh the stitch counts because I'm behind some of these stitch alongs I haven't even started uh-huh uh, -huh. uh and then I'm going to try and like, you know, plan starts and things so that, you know, when I come back, like I use the Notion app, which is helpful, but this will I'm hoping it kind of will help me when I come back here to be like, what did I do last month? So that's one of my plans to stay organized. My second plan is, I know I mentioned before, like last one I was showing you, I still have to go to Michael's and get it, like the frames custom cut and measure to finish that piece. But I found this one too when I was going through that. And well, let me unfold it. So... As far as I can tell, this is the finished pattern. I could not find uh, anything else. It's a, just like a little Christmas square. Stitching is all done as far as I can tell, other than something in the center. Also, like, <laughs> I would never use this large of a margin of a border. I'm like, this kind of hurts. <laughs> and it's a little yellowish with age, I think. So I want to find a cute Christmas button. Uh, a cute Christmas button and sew this up into like a little square ornament or maybe a box cover. I think I don't have a square box, so I think an ornament would be nice. And yeah, so just like some sort of cute Christmas button in there, and then I'd have a finish that I did nothing for, but it's cute. And like I said, this is from my mom's neighbor, so that is her friend. So I think that would be very nice. And just to show her that I appreciate that she gave me all her stitching stuff. And apparently there might be more stuff coming. I'm not 100% positive. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, uh, so that is that and then my plants september finish my tarot swap finish my floral swap uh keep stitching my round robins and at the end of the month i am going to the bamf retreat with megan and megan of the long distance stitchers which is going to be shenanigans 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 um i yeah a lot of huge plans just like i said we're there driving and flying in and then we're going to go to Banff. It's a four day long retreat. Uh, Banff is gorgeous. We've got lots of plans and activities and things we want to start and check off our lists and do. 
And I'm really excited because um, Megan and Megan without an H is one of the first people I really connected with on you know the cross stitch Instagram. Um, yeah, she's just a wonderful, generous, warm person. And, then, and of course, through her, you know, Megan, because they are a package deal. You, you don't get one Megan without the other Megan. And then I got to meet them at Stitch North for the first time. And I'm just really excited because, like, Stitchy Friends, like, I'm just, you know, to see in person. Like, I spent a lot of time connecting on Instagram, floss tubes, Zooms, all these things. But it's nice to meet in person and have those in person moments. I don't really have a local stitching group. I am going to a stitching event next 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 week apparently. Yeah. Um for also for my summer day I'm at Stitch North. Um so yeah, uh that is my plans. I am just doing this nice and quick while the kid naps. So hopefully I will have more stitching and more finishes for you at the end of September. Wish me luck because I do want a bunch of stuff cleared off my list by 2024 and so far I've just added. <laughs> Okay, so thanks for watching everybody and I hope you have a wonderful September. Um, bye!